if you are in a common law partnership you are in a relationship you are cohabiting with your partner you want to know if this is going to apply to you or what documents to provide to prove to IRCC your common law relationship stay tuned until the end of this video we're going to talk all about it Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Dhruv. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant at our firm of HCNP assist all prospective immigrants with their immigration to Canada. Here is our contact information. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions, if you need assistance, if you are uh, uh, interested in the process, feel free to contact us. Here is our contact information again. If you want to talk to me personally, the link to book an appointment is in the description. You can book a time and I'd be happy to chat with you. Before we go into the details of how you can prove your common law partnership to IRCC, let's quickly answer the comment of the week. This comment is on our Francophone mobility video. Uh, this was recently posted on our channel and we saw numerous comments on this video about uh, whether the work permit issued under the Francophone Mobility Program is an open work permit or a closed work permit. The answer is the work permit issued under the Francophone Mobility C16 exemption code is a closed work permit. It is not an open work permit. So if you are going through this process, you need an employer and the work permit that you will receive will be an employer specific closed work permit. I hope this helps. Now coming back to the common law partnership. Now guys, for those of you who don't know what is common law partnership, we'll briefly talk about that. If you have been cohabiting with your partner for at least one year in a conjugal relationship. Now, what does this mean? First requirement is cohabitation, which is at least one year you should be living together under the same roof as conjugal partners. And this is the second condition. You need to be conjugal partners. What does conjugal partnership means? It means that both of you are living together in a marriage-like relationship. Okay, So uh, say that you're dating someone and you are living with them uh, under the same roof. You are exclusively dating each other and you are living together in the same address, in the same house. Then you are satisfying the requirements of a common law relation. Once you complete one year of cohabitation as conjugal partners, as a uh, married couple or uh, you're not technically married but you're living as if you are a married couple then you have become common law partners after one year of cohabitation as conjugal partners and now you have access to common law sponsorship or spousal open work permit based on your common law partner now moving on to the next part that is how to prove common law union common law partnership to IRCC. Now guys, the first thing to do when proving your common law relation is to sign the statutory declaration of common law union. This is the IMM 5409 form. Here on the screen, you can see a sample of that IMM 5409. You and your partner need to sign this form. In this form, you declare that you've been living from uh, a particular date to a particular date and this time period should be at least one year and both you and your partner will sign this form in front of a commissioner for taking evidence or a commissioner of oaths or a notary public and this is a declaration that you're submitting to IRCC that you and your partner are in fact common law partners. Now if you need assistance with this declaration you can contact us in the link uh, description of the video there is the link where you can place an order to get your common law declaration prepared or get it stamped because I am a commissioner for taking epithets in Ontario and I can provide you with the service. Now that you've completed the declaration, the second step is now to prove your cohabitation. In order to prove your cohabitation, you need to showcase to IRCC that both you and your partner have lived together under the same roof for at least one year. How do you do that? First thing is address proofs, right? If you have a driver's license with the same address, that proves that you are living at the same address. Secondly, if you have a residential lease or you have ownership documents, uh, joint ownership of a house or a residential lease with both your names, that is a proof that you are living at that particular address. Both of you are cohabiting in that place. Other address proofs could be your bank statements that showcase uh, 
the same address for both of you. This could be a joint account uh, that is operated operational between both you and your partner. Uh, and, and that's a good proof. Or you can have individual bank statements, but the address on the bank statement is the same address for both of you. In that case, uh, that acts as an additional address proof uh, to prove that you've been living at that same address. Any additional address proofs, you can use your utility bills or you can use your phone bill. Uh, at the end of the day, you are trying to prove to the immigration officer, the visa officer, that you and your partner had the same address. And depending on what other proofs you have, you may or may not need these additional proofs. Uh, but this is an option which you can consider. Now we have proven the cohabitation part. The second thing to prove is that you are in fact living in a conjugal relationship. That means you are living in a marriage-like relationship. In order to prove a conjugal relationship, there are a few important factors that need to be considered. And this is that you want to showcase that you and your partner are financially interdependent on each other. That is, uh, just like any couple who is uh, in a marriage or who is in a marriage-like relationship, you uh, depend on each other for finances, you share bills, uh, you share expenses. You may have a joint account from which you're doing the expenses, or you have a, a, a procedure in which you send each other money, you may be sending each other interact transfers. Those uh, proofs could be used to, to showcase financial interdependency. Secondly, if you have a presence on social media and you have posted about your relationship on social media that is something that you can show uh, and that adds as a proof that your relationship is in fact legitimate you have revealed it to the public and that's another thing that can be used as a proof you can obtain uh, reference letters from uh, your friends or family and similarly your partner can obtain a few reference letters from their friends or family and that adds as a additional proof that uh, you are in fact in a relationship you have uh, been living as conjugal partners if you have filed cra taxes income tax as a common law partner that is another thing that you can mention and add as a proof in your visa application or in your permanent residence application that is another thing because that shows IRCC that you have declared to the CRA that you are in a common law relation and that's an additional set of proof that you can use to prove your relationship. If you or your partner have any insurance, life insurance or work insurance, it could be health insurance, dental insurance, pharmacy insurance that has your partner listed as uh, a dependent, as a beneficiary. Uh, that can be another proof to showcase that both you and your partner consider each other as uh, their spouse, essentially as a common law partner or similar to spouse. And that's an additional set of proof that proves to immigration that uh, we can clearly see that in their insurance documents, in their insurance policies, they have mentioned the other person as the beneficiary, as a dependent, and hence they are in a conjugal relation. Similar to life or health insurance, car insurance is another document. If say you own a car and your dependent, your partner is added as a primary or a secondary driver in your insurance policy or vice versa, that is another proof. Uh, the confirmation of insurance with your name and your partner's name is another set of proof that can be submitted to prove your relation. So guys, uh, these are uh, the proofs to showcase cohabitation and to showcase your conjugal relationship. Now, all of these documents have to be prepared in a submission uh, and that's where you need to kind of give your relationship story and give all the proofs of cohabitation and the proof of your relationship. Also adding a few pictures from your time together does not hurt that gives credibility but don't give uh, hundreds of pictures maybe 10 to 15 pictures of your time together on one single page or on one or two pages is more than enough to prove to the visa officer about your common law relationship it's very important for you to present all this relationship information in a very methodical way so that when the visa officer looks at your file they are very much convinced without any additional need for interviews or without any additional relationship information 
uh, or questions asked uh, that you are in fact in a common law relationship and hence they approve your application based on that that's it for this video guys in summary we've talked about uh, the common law relationship and how you can prove it we've talked about two requirements one is cohabitation and how to prove it and the other is conjugal relationship and again how to prove your conjugal relationship if you like the content of this video guys and if you found it useful please like it share it with a friend and subscribe to our channel so you are notified about new videos that we upload thank you very much for tuning in guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video